I never even got to meet up with him when he was down here. I totally missed him completely. And uh, it's supposed to be huge tomorrow. So I would have really liked to see him. Okay. Just give me a minute. So this is Ottawa, right? And I've lived all around Ottawa, which means that my whole life I've been kind of wedged in between the American border and the border with Quebec. And I don't want to offend any of you. Truly, I do not. But there's always been a little something missing from both borders. One, we have a language barrier and totally different understandings of what we want as rights and what we're willing to put up with and stuff. And then on the other border, I felt like uh, like we were looked at as silly because we don't have gun rights in absolute, not absolute free speech, but you know what I mean? And now it's like, being here, it's like everybody, everybody, the tension's gone. Everything I ever felt living around here growing up, it's gone. It's like insane. Canadians are all flying flags. They're flying the American flags too. We got flags from friggin' everywhere here. Uh, French people are speaking English, English people are speaking French. Everybody is really making an effort to come together and uh, feel like one. And let me tell you, it really does feel like one. I really hope that this feeling never leaves. What we've started here is so absolutely incredible. If we can get this going everywhere, this entire world is gonna change. And this may be the first step to uh, World peace are the closest thing we're ever going to get to it. Obviously, uh, yeah. You just know that for certain reasons, some countries, uh, oh shit, 4K is hard on the data. My phone just told me that I've used 95% of the data I just got the other day. That's not a problem. A lot of you uh, supported, and I'm going to, uh, I'll buy more data. I'll upgrade my plan again, and we'll continue shoot, shooting in 4K tomorrow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I can't wait until someday when I can sit down. After this is done, I'll probably sit down for a couple of weeks, and uh, <laughs> if I can, and uh, edit video. And I can't wait to go through all this stabilized 4K footage to see what I've got. No one. Happy birthday! Freedom! Yeah. Wait! Fuck Trudeau! Fuck Trudeau! Steve Tabarak! Yeah. Face coursing through my veins. I want to feel that thigh face. It'll show you you're alive. Oh yeah! Asik! Get down here with the Tech 12 button! Turn this shit up! this track. Almost an arse over tea kettle again. Tripped on the garbage.
I see your sign, bro? Yeah, man. Thank you. Freedom! Freedom! Yeah, where is he? Hiding! trucks anyhow check them out so uh here we are again i got my fingers sawed out and i got my heaters and uh my gloves now and my shoes as soon as i take my gloves off to uh operate the screen they get damn cold anyhow as you can see we got a ton of socks and toques i found buddy the big marker that he wanted so we're gonna go and pass these out. And uh, guys, I'm telling you, it is damn cold down here. Damn cold. I'm really bundled up. I have heating pads and stuff now. I am walking constantly and exercise creates heat, right? And I'm here during the day. By the time she really gets blistering cold, I'm at home in my nice comfy bed, enjoying cheap easy heat right so if it's this hard for me to be down here walking bundled up through the warmest part of the day imagine the sacrifice all the people here are making to actually stay here hold the line and fight for your rights i'm telling you what they're doing is not easy some of them are a little bit better equipped than others and they have sleeper cabs and stuff that are made for this there's a whole lot of people down here and pickup trucks and such that are absolutely not made for this at all. I did get the pet and we're going back to find the guy right now. And we got tons of socks and tubes. Too. The exact one I think he wanted. Whoever directed me to Giant Tiger, thank you very much. Uh, we got what we needed to get done. Done. And now it's awesome. Very, very simple way to solve that problem. And I happened to leave in the morning not too far from Giant Tiger's main distribution center, which means I can come back with a whole lot of gloves and uh, socks tomorrow. Thank you! Freedom! Yeah! Uh -huh. Freedom, brother! Woo!
Yeah, I need a megaphone. The woo's broken. Too much woo. -y. Don't let me get in your way, bud. If you got to run, give her. One more moment. All right. I'm not exactly sure who all needs the socks and stuff. But that other guy seemed to know. So we're going to see if we can find him. Papa Wheelie for freedom! He's not going to do it. Just not going to do it. <laughs> Camera should be a whole lot steadier in a minute once I get rid of these... Uh, socks and toques and stuff and I'm not off balance holding it with one hand you're gonna have to bear with me for a minute though because I got a bunch of bags here what about using the new gimbal the gimbal works awesome the problem is the phone doesn't last as long as the gimbal I'm shooting in 4k which is really heavy on data usage and power usage. So once the phone dies, I have to plug it in with a USB cord to a battery bank. And the cord is so stiff in the cold that it keeps uh, interfering with the motors for the stabilizing on uh, the gimbal. And I've wanted a gimbal for so many years. I couldn't justify going out to buy myself one because I've never done content like this. I always used a tripod but I'm super happy to have it. And I really don't want to risk breaking it by trying to use it with a frozen cord. So I'm not really sure how to solve that problem other than to get a much skinnier cord that's more flexible and allows the phone to be plugged in without interfering with the gimbal. I went to Best Buy this morning and they did not have such a thing. So uh, yeah, I don't really know what to do about that. Um, what I might do actually is take one of my USB cords I have at home and cut the outer insulating uh, rubber off so it's just the thin, thin wires inside and then maybe it'll give enough flexibility to use the gimbal. I feel kind of spoiled now. I didn't realize how much the shot sucked until I seen how steady a shot could be. Much love and big shout out to my supporter who helped us get the steady footage with that. We really, really love it and really, really appreciate it. And it means a lot to me and uh, a lot to the world because our 4K stabilized footage has been stolen by news agencies. And the only reason they're stealing it is because she's damn good footage. So uh, couldn't have done it without you and neither could they. ACBC is a great way to get a copyright strike. I'm just going to have to, I don't know, I have to choose between worrying about getting a strike or recording what's here to record. So, I don't know, this is history in the making. I guess I'll just have to take the risk. I've avoided it as much as I can, but uh, it's getting pretty hard to avoid. Yes, there we go. I don't even know what that word says. What in the world is that? Costa Q? I don't know what Costa Q is. Banner here that says flying with Epstein is what's unacceptable. <laughs> I 
Oh, of course the guy has to be way at the other end. But did you notice when we got that interview with that uh, really good guy, I can't remember his name. He was a tree climbing guy, an arborist or whatever. He said that people here are getting love and supplies, but the people on the outskirts of the convoy aren't getting as much. And that's why I keep making the effort to walk way down to where they are. Turning into a party. This is not a protest. There's some food. That's a whole new table of food. Hey. I haven't seen before. What's going on, brother? Uh, thank you, God, for this uh, opportunity here yeah. in Canada. And uh, I love you. We want to meet. Yes, sir. Just have a good night. <laughs> Freedom! Oh my God, I hope I said the right thing to him there. Just have a good I think means I love you too. I hope so. They didn't punch me in the beak, so I guess I'm good. Oh yeah. Wow. The atmosphere down here is really turning into uh, a party atmosphere right before the weekend. I highly suggest you come on down. I called the Price is Right guy, Bob Parker. No, no, Bob Parker. Come on down, fight for your rights. Whoa. Almost my nurse over tea cattle there. It's all good. As long as old Glenny from the block don't do the splits. Because old Glenny from the block wasn't made for the splits. That's for damn sure. I'll be one of those Urkel moments where I've fallen and I can't get up. I can freaking do. She's a long walk down. Trades and construction, yeah! We need those lads down here. And women. Jesus, Murphy, when will I learn? You know, the best uh, drywall taper and mutter I've ever seen in my life was a woman from Quebec. Holy shit, man. She could do a house in like, yeah. No time, flawless, with no deficiencies. I'm not reading your chat at all right now. I will in a minute, but I'm trying to uh, make it through these crowds of people without knocking them out with bags of socks. Oh. Anyhow, whoop, whoop, oh, it's getting slippery. And I don't know where the mainstream media is, huh? Yeah, I don't know where the mainstream media is, he says. Yeah, bro, I don't know where they are either. You know, out of sight, out of mind is probably what they're thinking. That's probably what Trudeau's thinking while he's hiding. Well, if I don't look at it, it doesn't exist. If I don't acknowledge it, she's not there. Wrong, dum-dum. It's here. The only thing missing is you. All right. I think we're almost down there. If I can't find the buddy, I'm gonna leave all this stuff with the food guy and let him give it out as he sees fit. It's too much for me to uh, carry while streaming. What a cute dog. You're a cute dog. Tell him pray for us. Pray for Trudeau. Because he doesn't have a prayer in the world to win in this one. All right. Sorry. As soon as I find this buddy, I will stop and check the chat. 
dozen trucks, by the way. 50 people, by the way. Small fringe minority, by the way. Sure, bud. Sure. Thank you for being with me. For sure. No, oh, D, the gimbal is working fine. The problem is the phone needs to be plugged into a battery bank and the phone is balanced. But as soon as you plug a big stiff USB cord that's frozen into it, it's hard for the gimbal to balance it and the motor keeps fighting with it. And uh, it's just not flexible enough. And I love the gimbal and I really don't want to break it. But uh, I haven't been able to solve this problem of being able to charge the phone while it's on the gimbal yet. I've just been busier than a friggin' long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs and haven't been able to uh, do everything I need to do. I can't remember where I seen that guy. I remember he was wearing a, a blue sweater or something. Hopefully he's down here and he recognizes me. I have a bunch of bags of stuff with me, so I should stand out a bit. As long as he's not looking for the gimbal, she's in the bag. We love you, suckers! The cop siren you hear is coming from a truck, not a cop. No worries. This guy's got a cool truck. It says hard work haul on the door. And the hauling is hard work. I seen this idiot on Facebook who's like, oh, trucking is for lazy people who want to sit on their ass while they work. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh shit, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find this guy. Is that him? Is that him? I think that's him. Was I talking to you about socks? socks? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, Do you guys need any socks or tubes? Yeah, dude, yeah, you got yeah bud, you take some. some. There's, there's tukes in there too, guys. Take it. Okay. Just if you're not gonna use them, help out some other guys. Right on, thanks for being here. We love you! That's right. Oh, yeah. We aren't going anywhere. Hell no, we yeah. don't stay here. Right on, guys. Thank you. Uh, who is the guy who wanted to mark on his hood? Alberta loves you, truckers! There you go, Alberta. Scotland loves you, truckers! Yes! We're letting them, letting them know. The whole world is watching. The whole world is getting ready for convoys in their countries. The UK? I should have known you were from the UK with the Tidy Tracks logo. Love it. The UK loves you, truckers! Yeah. I just talked to him. That wasn't him, he said. And he wasn't wearing the same, uh, was that him? Was that him?